Mr. E.T. Benson Jr., you are this project uh, known as E.T. Place E.T., like father, like son. And you've invited some of the classic uh, performers of high life in the country. With you today is your very good friend, Mr. Dan Awolete. Dan Awolete. And would you tell us a bit about Dan Awolete and Dan can take off and tell us how he believes high life is the thing for this country and how you guys are modernizing high life for the 21st century. Dan Awolete is still a veteran uh, musician. He was with the Ambassador Golden Eagles of our Ambassador Hotel and is an experienced singer and he is taking uh, part in my project. Then Awolete uh, is my very good friend. So he has also contributed towards my upgoing in music because he has encouraged me a lot and I've been playing side by side with him most of the time. So I feel it will be a very good uh, instrument to what I'm doing at the moment. So, Mr. Awolete. <laughs> Mr. Awolete, will you tell us about yourself and how you got into music and how high life singing has been part of you and how you want to impact this to the next generation? Well, um, I, I start with uh, how I came into music. Uh, my mother uh, is a very good, was a very good singer, and uh, she had a very good voice. And fortunately for the children, six of us, uh, two are in music, two are in music. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, my junior brother, who is a people happened to be one of the singers of the E.T. Mensa band, the original E.T. Mensa band. And uh, he traveled a lot for them to Europe and other places before the band uh, came to May we know his name? He's Jacob Awolete, uh, popularly known as Obi. Obi. Obi, yes. King Alloway. King Alloway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So uh, I'm sure if there are some of the old folks in uh, Britain who are seeing this uh, uh, film of ours, they will, they, will, they will recognize him maybe someday when he, his pictures uh, come out. But well, um, when I was in school, I loved music a lot, especially the continental musics. And uh, I was always practicing. My favorite artists have been uh, Nat King Cole, and uh, every morning before I know I go to take my shower, I have to practice the way he sings and listens to his style and his playing and everything, and I was so impressed with it. And uh, I had to copy a lot from him. Um, when I left school, I tried singing, but my father refused. But well, it is my passion, so I couldn't leave it. Then one day I surprised my old man, and what I did was that uh, I was going to practice without his knowing, and I was playing with the band, which is the Ambassador's Golden Eagle at the Ambassador Hotel. And uh, we were playing in the then nightclub, which is the Beach Kumba. We call the place Beach Kumba. And we have uh, senior citizens come in there to enjoy themselves and you expect the sort of music they want to listen to and you know then I was just into music and I was learning but before then I did a little bit of cabaret dancing and then cultural I, I combined the two and I was doing them together before uh, I moved into music Fortunately for me those I was playing the music with were early than myself so I had to listen to a lot of advice. And I have very good ears for music. Now, personally, I don't read music, but I sing. And I have very sharp ears. See, if, if for the past years that I've been playing, if uh, maybe I meet somebody who is new in the, in the system, 
and uh, sometimes maybe you see that they, they, they don't know the lines so they play and at certain places you feel yourself that no this man is not in the right line you see but we play and when we finish you tell him here you went wrong here you went wrong and i was correcting them and they will ask do you read me i say i don't read me but it is my ear and i have that feeling in me it is that inborn thing which i have in me so i was you know always with the people who were you know ahead of me we played with a lot of uh, bands from europe because then we were having um bands which come every month they they, they, they interchange a band comes from uh, so uh, a italy. cultural exchange yes okay. from italy today tomorrow another one comes from germany just night time from britain and so i was you know with a lot of this people. do you remember some of the names of um rio gondorello from dg uh, 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 from italy uh, then uh, there, was a, do you remember there was a pop band from britain and uh, i think there was another one too from um, South America. So you the believe group. that this cultural exchange enhanced the high life music? Yes. And yes. that you would suggest that uh, the, there should be introduction of more of these more cultures this, yes, yes. to because polish yes. the music into the it, it 21st century. Okay. Um, I would right. like you to know that Scratch has been attending Warmex and is having. Um, contact with uh, a lot of these countries that support, are willing to support and sponsor their, you know, bands into this country. Unfortunately, Ghana does not have that government support for no, us to no, export no, our culture no, no, no. to um, no. these countries. However, it's, through this project, we expect that such cultural exchanges yes. will take place sure. for us to rub shoulders with other music sure. of the world yes. Yes. and how it's been adopted to the 21st century yes. for the uh, people, the young ones to also follow suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, what advice do you have for the young talents, vocalists these days? Well, um, you know, in our days, you learn. You learn, and there are people who train you. You don't, you don't just do it for doing sick. You see, we say you have. There are singers, and there are singers. You see, some people they have the voice. They don't train the voice. They think their voice is sweet, so they sing. But that doesn't make you a singer. You can sing in your bedroom or in your house, and you think you are enjoying it. The people will enjoy it, but when you come out, it's a different thing altogether. So you have to learn. And I will advise my, my younger ones that it is better for them to learn the way to do it. You see? Because in everything there are tidbits. And if you don't get them, you do it, but you are not clean. So you are suggesting there should be vocal training, training. seminars and yes. programs yes. to yes. impact the knowledge to yes. the young ones. Yes. You know? yes. And you are willing to teach well, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. In fact, in my church, we have a band, and every time there are new uh, singers who join the band, I go to advise. That is what I do there. I go to advise because I teach you the way to start, what you should do, the things that you have to, I mean, uh, put right in what you are doing to be able to stand up. And um, a few of them now. In fact, when I started this thing, they, they didn't recognize it as something... They didn't appreciate it. it. Yeah. You see? But now, they are seeing what I'm doing. So sometimes they come to me and they ask questions and I tell them that this is it, this is that, this is what you have to do, this is what you have to go to God to do. Every morning, you have to exercise your voice. Because when you go to, to bed, your, your, your vocal cord relaxes. So you have to wake it up. And if you wake it up, you see that throughout the day, you'll be talking. So the, the cord works throughout the day. As soon as you go to bed, it relaxes. So if you don't wake it up, you don't make it. So I always teach them what they should do in the morning, the exercises they have to do. And if, if maybe you have something like an organ or the piano in your house, you just go and tap a note and make sure you can pick that note correctly with your voice. 
But when you keep on doing it for a long time, you see that you get it. You see. Which is your favorite E.T. Besa song? And how many are you singing on the project, E.T. plays E.T.? Um, the, 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 there are more of them which uh, I have to go back and, you know, uh, research and revise. Because it's a long time I sung, sung some of them. So, I, although I remember the tunes, but I'm lost in the words. So I, Which one is your favorite that you think at any point um, in time you can? With the UTC. Can you sing a bow or two of Mr. UTC for us to know your golden silky voice? With the UTC, Yano Blayoko, Ikemini Mahi, Nikemahi Maba, Nikemahi Mako Hami, Nikembe Shika, Afio, 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 Koko. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, it, do you have anything you can? say to support Dan and your appreciation for Dan participating. In, oh yes, in, in, I have a lot to say. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, I told you, I started playing with them when I, I, I was a young soldier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, experience in music field is not do do or do this uh, work. <laughs> yes. Uh, I happen to play with my father, Tempo's Band, Blabbies, Sweet Talks, uh, Ambassador Body Eagles, uh, Continentals. Look, I played a lot of bands. So if people see me playing, I'm not a, a two, three days trumpet player or writer. Your, your gray hair has shoes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you all have had gray hair. Yes. I've played with uh, so many people. You know, Good musicians. Uh, Let me name some of them. Oh, hmm. okay. Uh, I played with my father. The, yes, the, of the course. One I, to <laughs> I played with. Uh, okay, uh, Kim Bruce. Kim Bruce, yes. Oh, Suze, 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 Suzanne uh, Grinsley. Where was he from? He's from Accra here. Oh, okay. Suzanne, very good sax player. Yeah, well, he was the leader of the ambassadors. ambassadors. Then so, okay. played with uh, my uncle Dizzy Akwe. He, he was a, a guitar player. Yeah, then yeah. Boadu, yes. very good yeah. bass player. For your father. Yeah. Oh. Still with the ambassadors. The ambassadors. Yes. Then Joe, Joe Marty. You might be so so uh, another 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 basis. Basis. Uh, okay. uh, a basis. Okay. Look. Now. I forgot the battle. Uh, yeah. How do you feel with the new rap music and um, the high life today? And do you see the rap music projecting our culture? You know, and, and, and mm -hmm. what you think they should do? to let it project our culture? In fact, personally, um, not that I don't like it, but uh, it's killed the high life music. See, it, it, it's submerged it. But we have to resurface it. Yeah, talk so about I, I will only, I will only be uh, I mean, happy if I will see them, you know, generate something into the rap with the high life. But I was just, this evening I was just saying that, uh, I remember those days when Ramblers were playing at the Kalamazoo Hotel at Osu. And it, whenever they go there to play, it, 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 it's a grand evening. And everybody will be in talking shoes. And all you hear on the floor is sha, 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 sha. And it is the base of the shoes they rub on the ground. And I mean, it pushes the music. And it makes you feel good. You see, although you are wearing the, the sole of your, your, your shoes, you, you really feel great when you go home you say that yes tonight i've been you know so they should build up something into the high life music and wake it up because if i look back and I, I i even flash my mind back on what i see nigerians did some years back and what they are doing today you see they, they have protected their culture very much than we have so if they can also you know 
pull up and I mean, you, you mean the young ones. Yes. So if the young ones yes. can, yes. you know, it, it protect very, very and uh, 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 bring in the high life. Yes. Lately, you'll be hearing some kind of high life music rather than rabbi. Yeah. The new young ones, mm -hmm. namely Kwabna, Kwabna, mm -hmm. r 2 yes. and all those. Mm -hmm. uh, are you saying those are the right direction? Or there's mm -hmm. more to be done well, to protect they, they, our high life and cultural music. They also have their way, but I would prefer that the original high life reading and beat must stay, because that is what we're born with. That is what we know. And when you, you travel all over Europe, this is what you hear, and people request for them. So I think we should hold up to it and keep yeah. it going. So can, can you, um, Give us a slight difference between the high life that you, you you knew and knew, and then the modern high life by you know a display of singing or beat or hand clap or something. Yes, um, the, the original high life music was picked from Yabonza, but now they have shifted away from Yabonza. You see, so we have been thrown off our our original uh, high life. Can you do something about the Yabon? Because for those young ones who don't know anything about Yabon, yeah, well, can you sort of give the rather Mr. E.T. Uh, with you? I think the two of you can do something. Um, it, 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 it goes on the guitar. It is yes. the guitar that Sound. holds the whole thing. Okay. You see? How does it go? That's how that the, the beat goes. You see? Yeah, and they, they follow. This is the line. The line it follows. Okay, and See, then the modern and, one. And, and when you, you, you now, I tell you when you are playing high life, and this high life is not there. Ba, 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 there is ba, not high life. But you have all, almost all the young songs have that in there. Most so, of them. All so the, the, some they, have they used to go and take foreign these things uh, they, to come and represent high life. No, we were born with that thing. The future one. Mm. Uh, yeah, the go, future one. Go, 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 one way. Go, 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 one way. Go, 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 one way. But that, 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 the yes, young that ones the are, right are, rhythm. yeah, but the young ones have in, incorporated that in their rap music. Are you still saying it's not her life? Mm. Mm. Uh, no, we won't say, we won't say it's not her life. But, you see, um, when you listen to it, and even, Go dancing with it. It's more of like um, it's like a, an Americanized exactly, art exactly. Art. something or, like that. You would see? you say it's because of the technology, the computerized beats of the drums, the synthesizers, and things that have influenced and influenced the people of uh, the young ones of the day? Yes, that's why they don't want to learn. Because of the computers, yes, because of the that computers and what it is. So they, you, you believe her life is more organic. Yes. That they uh, play the actual drums, play the conga, yes, the and guitars, yes. and the, rather yes. than yes. having them all programmed yes. on, yes. The, on the on the, on uh, the keyboard. On the keyboard. Yes. So the di basic difference between what you will call authentic her life is is the um, the fact that you have a culturally authentic sound yes. as against the modern synthesizers yes. sound, you know, and you feel that has watered down that organic. So you, you are suggesting that we must have an organic sound, culturally authentic, yes. Yes. you know, even though we like to embrace the change of technology, yes. we should maintain that uh, organic uh, exactly. sound. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Ed and Awulete. Awulete. Yes. All right.
Thank you. Yes. We will continue our program one one and yes. share a lot more ideas, ideas and yes. um, history and innovations with the youth. Thank you very much. Thank you.